My name is Jesse Wilkins, and I'm the Vice President for Training and Certification here at AIM. The Certified Information Professional, or CIP exam, is an exam that allows candidates to show that they know how to get rid of their organization's digital landfills, the messy file cabinets, the mounds of email, the mountains of paper that organizations just seem to accumulate over years and years and years. CIPs understand the problems associated with this and the problems they cause for their organizations and help them to take care of those. The CIP is a good fit for anybody who's trying to help manage their information more effectively. Whether you're a line of business leader who needs to understand how to file invoices more efficiently, an HR director who has to understand the importance of the security of personnel reviews and how to manage those across the information lifecycle, or even an information management professional who's just trying to help the organization more effectively do the business of the business. The CIP is not a good fit for somebody who's new to the industry. If you're fresh out of high school or college and you've never done information management before, you're going to find it challenging to be successful on the CIP exam. We actually recommend that candidates for the CIP exam have five years of practical hands-on experience in some form of information management, helping their organizations get control of the madness. If you don't have that, even taking a prep course or reading the study guide is going to be difficult for you to be successful. You wanna make sure you're ready for the exam before you purchase. And there are a couple of good ways that you can do that. The first is that we have a 100 question, two hour timed CIP practice exam. And we found that candidates who are successful on the practice exam generally do fairly well on the formal exam. We also offer an official study guide this is available for free from our website for AIM professional members, and if you're a non-member, it's just $60. Finally, we offer a preparatory course in a variety of formats, including online, self-paced, and instructor-led that cover 100% of the topics on the exam to help you ensure that you're confident and ready for your exam date. Probably the single biggest benefit most people think of in terms of a certification is a pay bump or a promotion. And there's a lot of research that supports this. Payscale.com suggests that there's a 27% pay differential between people who are certified and people who are not certified in the same role with the same background and skills. But it's not just about the money. It's also increased confidence and having that confidence to be able to talk to senior managers, your colleagues and peers across your organization and other stakeholders and customers and partners. Having the CIP can also help to boost your career. It's not uncommon for CIPs to get promotions, to get moved into areas of greater responsibility and to really have meaningful impact on projects that are vital to the success of their organizations. And if your current organization doesn't recognize the value of the CIP, perhaps your next one will. One of the questions we get a lot is, how does the CIP compare to the Certified Records Manager or CRM exam? The two programs are similar in the sense that they're both formal certifications. You have to pass an exam, or in the case of the CRM, six separate exams. You have to renew them every few years in order to maintain them. Um, the difference, I think, is that the CIP exam is much more broad, and while it does address records management, that's really only one of the many topics that it covers. Whereas the CRM exam is really a series of exams that are deep dives into all aspects of records management and the records lifecycle. So if you're a practicing records manager and you really want to get the in-depth details on how to do your craft better, the Certified Records Managers is a really good certification that has lots of visibility. We think it's complemented very well by the CIP because while the CRM is a deep dive that shows that detailed expertise, the CIP helps you position that as part of the broader picture of information management. In other words, how does what you do in records management affect what you do in other disciplines and processes within the organization? A question we often get is, how does the CIP exam compare to ARMA's Information Governance Professional, or IGP exam? 
Like the CIP, IGP is a formal certification. You have to maintain it every three years. You have to go to a test center to take it. So they're very similar in that respect. But while CIP is a very broad based certification, the IGP exam is much more focused on information governance, the strategies, tactics, and techniques for developing an information governance framework within which we do these other information management disciplines. And so it's a little bit more strategic, a little bit more overarching in terms of its focus. We think in fact that the two are complementary. The IGP is a great way to position yourself as understanding the strategic implications of information management across the entire enterprise. And then CIP helps you to place that as one of the pieces of that broader picture of information management and all of the various tactics used to support that information governance program. The CIP exam is $349 for AIM professional members and $385 for non-members. Like most certifications, the CIP has to be renewed periodically. The CIP is good for a period of three years, after which the CIP has to renew either by taking the test again, and most people don't like taking the test more than once, or by performing continuing education. The process is that you need to complete 60 hours of continuing education over three years. This is only 20 hours a year and is less than 1% of your work budget for the year. You also have to pay a renewal fee of $135 as a named professional member or $150 as a non-member. Continuing education can come from a variety of sources. Of course, you can go to an AIM conference, attend an AIM training program, AIM webinar, and so forth. But really, anything that relates to information management, as long as it's educational, will take as credits. So you can go to other industry conferences, you can go to internal training or deliver internal training on information management. We'll accept it as long as it's educational and relates to information management. If you're ready to take the CIP exam, it's a simple three-step process. The first step is to create an account at www.webassessor.com aim. Next, once you've created the account, you can log in and then decide to take the test either online using your own computer, or you can take the test on site at any one of more than a thousand criterion test centers worldwide. Finally, once you've scheduled your appointment, show up at the appointment, take the exam, hopefully you're successful and you're ready to start on the rest of your journey as a CIP.